Akira. The dog. He's got clout. The web of life. Let me try from the first to indicate the point that we're aiming at. The point is this, that human consciousness is at the same time as being a form of awareness and sensitivity and understanding. It's also a form of ignorance. The ordinary everyday consciousness that we have leaves out more than it takes in. The ordinary everyday consciousness that we have leaves out more than it takes in. And because of this, it leaves out things that are terribly important. It leaves out things that would, if we did know them, allay our anxieties and fears and horrors. And if we could extend our awareness, you see, to include those things that we leave out, we would have a deep interior peace because we would all know the one thing that you mustn't know. The ordinary everyday consciousness that we have leaves out more than it takes in. The ordinary everyday consciousness that we have leaves out more, you know, according to the of our particular social game. One thing you mustn't know that's really not allowed that is the lowdown on life. And then the lowdown on the one hand means the real dirt on things. But the lowdown is also what is profound, what is mysterious, what is in the depths. And there's something left out. And our everyday consciousness screens this out in the same way that when you say you have weaving, you have, say, on this rug here in front of us. When the black finishes here, the black threads will go underneath and then appear again over here, then they'll go underneath the white and then they'll appear again over here, you know? So that the back will be the obverse pattern of the front. Now, the world is like that. The ordinary everyday consciousness that we have leaves out more than it takes in. The ordinary everyday consciousness that we have leaves out more than it takes in. Our sense organs are selective. They pick out certain things they're receptive. For example, we have a small, small band, what you might call a spectrum of light, of sound, of tactile sensation and so on, to which the human organism is sensitive. But we know that outside that small band, there is a huge range of vibrations to which we have built instruments that are sensitive. Things like cosmic rays, ultraviolet rays, gamma rays, hard x-rays and so on they're all outside the band of our spectrum and obviously there are things that are outside the range of our instruments we may build new instruments someday which will evoke bring into our consciousness other orders of vibration altogether but yet as yet we don't know about them so you could imagine, you see, the universe is a vast, vast system of vibrations and has infinite possibilities. The ordinary everyday consciousness that we have leaves out more than it takes in. The ordinary everyday consciousness that we
we have. that we have.